We'll wait for Mr. Lanning. Mr. Lanning, for purposes of cross-examination, are you going to need the screen? This screen? Okay, I think we're ready to bring the jury in. They'll have that over there by the time we bring them in. Please be seated. Ms. Ringmaster, you may continue with your examination. GC. Response from the defense. GC will be received as State Exhibit 118. Request permission to publish 117 and 118 to the jury. Yes, you may.
Investigator Cooper, the items that you observed and you documented with photographs inside the vehicle that you searched on March 8th of 2012, did you actually seize the items of evidence relating to the firearms, casings, and projectiles that you located in the vehicle? Yes. I placed in front of you exhibits EE through EM, so echo through echo M, whatever that is. Would you look at each of those items and tell me if you can identify them? Mr. McMaster, EE through EM? That's correct. Okay. I've separated EB and EM for separate data. Have you had an opportunity to look at them? Yes. Can you identify each of those exhibits? Yes. Are they all items of evidence that you packaged from the vehicle itself? Yes. Now, can you tell from looking at the envelopes if all or some of those were sent to FDLE? Yes. Were they all sent? Was that in front of you or were there a couple that were not? There was a few that weren't. All right. Let's take them one by one. With respect to exhibit EE, what is that? What's inside the envelope mark? Yellow metal cartridge stamped Fort Smith & Wesson from the chamber of the gun. Now, that's the gun that you saw in the console area of the dashboard? Yes. Did you actually remove a cartridge from the inside of the weapon? Yes. Was that sent to FDLE? No. They set that one off on the left-hand side? You're right. My bad. Exhibit EF? It is a Glock 40 caliber magazine, 10 capacity, from the dashboard. All right. And was that sent to FDLE? Yes. They set that one off on your left, my right. What EG? The yellow metal cartridge stamped Fort Smith & Wesson from the magazine, the previous magazine. All right. Was that sent to FDLE? No. Okay. Let's set that one on the left side. EH? It's a Glock 40 caliber magazine, 9 capacity. And was that sent to FDLE? No. That one. That's okay. EI? It's nine yellow metal cartridges stamped PMC Fort Smith & Wesson from the 9 capacity magazine. And that was not sent to FDLE? No. Okay. EJ? It's one metal cartridge stamped Fort Smith & Wesson from the front passenger side door. And was that sent to FDLE? No. Okay. EK? Yellow metal cartridge casing stamped Fort Smith & Wesson from the front passenger side floorboard. And that was sent to FDLE? Yes. Is that one on the other side, please? EL? It's a copper jacketing from the interior front driver's side door. That was sent to FDLE also? Yes. And EM? It's a projectile from the front driver's side door. Okay. That was sent to FDLE also? Yes. With respect to the items that were sent to FDLE, which I believe are Exhibit EE, EF, and then EK, EL, and EM. Is that correct? Five different items? Four. Oh, the cartridge chamber was not. The cartridge was not sent. That was in the chamber. No. Okay. With 
respect to those four items, the gun magazine, the 10-shot one, and then the casing and the jacket and the projectile from inside the door, are the items that you packaged into those evidence items and you altered them in any form or fashion when you sealed them up in the evidence envelopes? No. And did you then seal the envelopes and send them off to FDLE for further testing? Yes. And are the envelopes that have been returned to you sealed by FDLE? Yes. And has anybody at the Sheriff's Office had opened them or done anything to them since receiving them from FDLE? No. Do we have those exhibits? And those are EEEF. That is EM. EL. EK. And EF. Okay. With respect to the remaining envelopes, those you packaged up when you seized them and finished any processing you did of them? Yes. Did you do any processing on these items? Yes, I did. What processing did you do? I used the super glue fumes, the dye stain, and the powder. And did you process the other items that you sent to FDLE also? Yes. Did you find any latent fingerprints of value on any of those items that you processed in this batch of exhibits? No. With respect to the items that remain in front of you, EE, EG, EH, EI, EJ, are those items in substantially the same condition today as the date that you seized them from the vehicle on March 8, 2012, and packaged them up? I mean, the packaging is closed. It hasn't been opened, so as far as you know, it's the same condition. Is that correct? Yes. The state will move those in as its next number of exhibits. Any objection? No objection. Okay. EE will be state 119. EG will be state 120. EH will be state 121. EI will be state 122. And EJ will be state 123. I'm going to ask you to take these exhibits one at a time, refer to the exhibit number, describe what the exhibit is inside, go ahead and unseal it, and open it up and request permission to publish them to the jury from the witness stand. Yes, you may. Go ahead. And which exhibit number is it first? 121. And what is exhibit 121? It's a Glock 40 caliber 9Z in 9 capacity. Would you remove it from the envelope and display it to the jury so they can see it? Was that located in the weapon that was found in the dashboard? No. Just found in the vehicle? Yes. Put that back in. Take another exhibit and tell us what exhibit number it is. 
123. It's a cartridge stamped for to Smith and Weston. And where was that located? The front passenger side door. Just hold it up so the members can see it. Okay. 